Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to Coffee, Computers, and More, and we're going to bring you coffee and coffee and more coffee. We're going to do a little uh, three cup review in the time it takes me to do one cup of review, coffee review. So what we have here are three different varieties of coffee that you get at the hy grocery store chain. Uh, the hy grocery store chain was started in the 1930s. I think it was started in 1930 in Iowa, if I'm not mistaken. And since then, it has turned into a Midwestern juggernaut uh, dominating the central plains and the central part of the U.S. with really nice grocery stores with a great selection and a ton of their own store label items. So the first coffee we're going to try today, we're going to get really jacked up on caffeine, is the Intense Dark Roast Espresso. Now, all three of these coffees sell for $5.99. And if you go to the hy website, you can actually order the coffee online. What's cool about it is they offer like 15 different varieties and they also make them for the Nespresso makers. So they're really getting out there in the varieties and the flavors that they offer. So intense dark roast espresso. Uh, it's 100% Arabica. It says a bold dark roast coffee with nutty and mellow flavors and aromas. Which will be interesting because I don't know if I've ever had Italian dark roast espresso that's been mellow. So we're going to see how they pull it off. Is it going to be kind of smoky but not overly bitter? Is there going to be any kind of like a hazelnut flavor to it? I don't know. We're going to find out. So that's what we have there. The second variety we're going to test out is Brilliant Blonde Blend. So Blonde Blends tend to be a medium to light roast. This one is a medium roast. And it says this is a refreshing bright cup of coffee made with a light medium roast that has subtle, nutty, and fruity notes. So any of the blonde roasts I've ever had in any brand, it's typically like a citrusy flavor, lemon zest kind of flavor to it. And here's what you gotta understand about the blonde roast. Just because a coffee is a dark roast, it doesn't mean it has more caffeine than a light roast. Surprisingly, most of your light roast coffees tend to have more milligrams of caffeine in them because less of the essential oils have been roasted out and burned, which is where the good stuff is, the caffeine. So that's a little bit surprising for you. Um, you know, there's more of a bold flavor, maybe more of a wake me up for having a heartier flavor in the mornings. But if you want straight up caffeine, typically the, the blonde roast tend to have more, but it always dep depends on the variety, it depends on the brand. So, you know, just kind of take it for what it is. And the other one that we're gonna try is the hazelnut blend, okay? And this one says, a rich and sweet light roast coffee with comforting hazelnut flavor and aroma made from 100% ground Arabica beans. It's a light roast, one out of five beans on the bean scale. And uh, prices on these are $5.99 for 12, which is not awesome. You would think for a store brand, they would maybe be a little more competitive. Once you get to the 50 cent per K cup and above arena, you're starting to step into like the Green Mountain Roaster brands and Keurig brands. Starbucks tends to cost more. Starbucks tend to run tends to run more like 75 cents per K cup. And so to me, I like compared to a great value brand at Walmart, those are like $4 a box for 12. Sometimes you can get 18 for five. So I mean, there at Walmart, great value really does kind of lead I think in the, the value price K-Cup arena. So the hazelnut blend, what I'm gonna be looking for here is something that has a nice flavor. It is artificially flavored, but something that's not maybe over flavored, something I could enjoy without creamer. That's kind of what I go for whenever I buy any kind of flavored coffee. I know that's the idea, but some people like to add the same flavor of cream of what they try. So we're gonna brew these up. We're gonna try all three, and we're gonna see how they compare to uh, some of the other coffee that we've tried on the channel. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you is that when you look at the tops of these, I've seen this topper on like a dozen other brands of K-Cups. So I'm kind of curious if hy isn't just buying these from somebody else and boxing them themselves and you know marketing themselves because I've seen this on several other companies. If you ever notice that kind of a label, all of them have the same type of label, font and style or maybe they're just buying from a generic supplier and uh, they pack their own. I really have no idea. At some point I hope to find an answer. So this may be very similar to exact same hazelnuts that's marketed by other brands too for a cheaper price. So just kind of keep an eye out. If you notice that, uh, we're kind of curious what it's going to be like. So let's go ahead and work our way down the scale. We're going to start off with the uh, the Brilliant uh, Blonde Blend. We're going to do that first and then we'll move right on to the hazelnut and then we're going to finish up with the uh, Italian Dark Roast Espresso. All right, let's get busy brewing. All right, first things first, we got the Brilliant Blonde Blend. I'll be using three different mugs to, brew, to, to prove to you that I'm actually brewing three different coffees. All right, here we go. Smell, very mellow. Interesting, it's almost kind of, I don't want to say cedary, almost kind of like wood chips. Very, very earthy, very earthy. All right, let's try it. Light and crisp. Oh. It's almost like a, like a cantaloupe or almost like a, like a, like a strawberry or like definitely like a melon flavor on the back end. Mmm. So that is very, 
That is very unique. It's almost like cantaloupe. It's crazy. Usually when it comes to some some of the some of the berry flavors, you know, it's more like like a blueberry sometimes or oh weird or like a citrus, like a lemon. Nuttiness. Not quite so much, just definitely a definite citrus flavor, like a melon flavor, which is really pleasant. Um, if you want something that's got a little bit of zing, something that's kind of crisp, something that's definitely lighter, there's no, no smoky tones to this whatsoever. I don't know if you could really pair this up with much of a creamer, maybe just like straight cream, not really a flavored cream, and I think you're good to go. All right, one more sip. Mm. So this is one of the... Um, one of the more interesting blonde blends that I've, that I've tried before, typically they have more of a lemon flavor to them. So this is good, or more of a grapefruit kind of flavor to them. Not here, this is more like a strawberry melon flavor. It's really unusual, I do like it. So that is the Brilliant Blonde Blend. So if you wanna try a different coffee that's a little more interesting than just your normal roast, you wanna try something kind of crisp, this would be a good one for early mornings to wake you up. Uh, definitely try this one out. This one's got a, a listing of three out of five on the bean roasting scale. All right, so let's go ahead and brew up another one. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is the hazelnut blend, and we will see how that is. All right, let's do a little round two. We've got the hazelnut blend going on here. So if you're somebody that likes Nutella, or maybe even caramel, I think you're gonna like this one. Uh, you can, the smell, it just smells like a, like a rich caramel, like a rich hazelnut cream. Uh, the coffee itself, for being a light roast, okay, it's got the one out of uh, five bean scale uh, filled in. It really does look more like a, like a medium roast. It looks like a darker roast, which is surprising, but uh, let's go and get a sniff here. Yeah, the hazelnut is there. It doesn't smell chemically at all. It just smells natural, like, a, like just like a hazelnut flavor you'd expect, like I said, Nutella. The coffee smell, medium roast, nothing too offensive, nothing smoky at all. I think if you're kind of a fan of Folgers, you'd like this one. Now, why drink flavored coffees? Maybe you want something with a little more personality. Maybe you just like the flavor of hazelnut. Also, this is a good way to get off liquid creamers. If you're a big fan of liquid creamers, they have a lot of calories in them and a lot of sugar. And I know you can get the, the sugar-free ones and then this and that, but it's just a way to kind of get back to more natural experience when it comes to drinking your coffee. So there's the full cup. All right, bottoms up, here we go. Hmm. Oh no, that's interesting. The hazelnut flavor, okay, it is, it's just a little bit bitter, I'm surprised. Just just a little bit bitter, but sometimes that can happen with, with mixing other flavors in there. It almost has kind of like a maple flavor to it. The, the hazelnut is definitely there though. This is one where you might want to let it just sit for a few minutes and let it mellow, but I try to get as much flavor out of it as I can. A little bit bitter on the back end, kind of strong, surprisingly. But if you like that, that pleasing hazelnut flavor, I think this is definitely going to be the way to go. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, it's very much just kind of on par with a lot of the other brands of hazelnut coffee I've had before, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Green Mountain Roasters, and stuff like that. So hazelnut blend, not bad. We're going to give it two thumbs up. It's pretty good, but it is a little bit stout. Uh, you might not want something this strong in the morning if you're somebody who does not do a lot of strong coffee. One more sip. Initial flavor is very, is very mild, though, surprisingly. Yeah, it's not bad. It could be the flavoring that causes it to be just a little bit bitter, but it's it's fine as is. All right, we're going to give this one probably like, like 8 out of 10. Not the best I've ever had, but also not the worst. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to Intense Dark Roast um, Espresso. And by the way, I'm doing uh, 8 ounces of purified water uh, in each one of these as I brew them through the Keurig. Okay, all right, and here we go. The last one, we have the Intense Dark Roast Espresso. Um, Hybe, it's okay to just call it Espresso Roast because Espresso by its nature is intense and dark roast. I'm not trying to be a jerk here or anything, but we get it, and it does have the little five beans filled in to tell us that it's dark roast, yet it still says that it has mellow flavors and aromas. So let's go ahead and get a, get a little whiffer and see how it smells. I'm expecting something pretty dang stout if you're gonna brag about it like that. Okay, so there is a bit of a smell of, of espresso, which is, it's going to be a little more intense, more more of a cocoa kind of kind of chocolate smell to it. If you ever smell espresso, it's very somewhat pungent sometimes. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a sip and see how it is. Mmm. Okay, initially, it does hit you with a lot of flavor. There's a bit of a smoky goodness to it. There's a little bit of a dark chocolate aftertaste. I like it. Bitterness is, is there a little bit in the back end, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes that's inherent with this kind of a dark roast. 
This is good. It doesn't have that intensity like you get in a lot of other dark roasts, like say like a Sumatra blend or, or a Komodo blend like that, but it's, it's definitely up there. Mm. Okay, so this is more my style. It's, um, it's, it's, for a dark roast, it's, it's mellow enough that you can really enjoy it. It does have enough kind of complicated flavor to it that it's gonna keep your interest. It's really good, I really do like it. If you're a fan of dark chocolate, and I think you're gonna like this one. And at $5.99 for 12, it's, it's, it's a pretty fair price, you know, 50 cents a K-cup for a dark roast that's got some personality and some flavor to it. So, hi B, I'm gonna give you hats off to you. You're definitely putting in some extra effort with trying to make a premium K-cup for not charging a premium price. Um, if this had been other brands, you might be looking at $8.79 for 12, $7.99 for 12, sometimes even more. Hmm. Okay, this one, this one I could just do like like any time of the day. It's got a great kind of mouthfeel to it. It's it's um oh man, it's very robust. This this is a good one. So if you are a fan of dark roast coffee, get out there and pick up some intense dark roast espresso. And like I said, I'm pretty sure you can order this off the Ivy website and have it delivered. I know you can buy it online and pick it up in store, and uh, it's very good stuff. Um, the hazelnut blend. A little bitter on the back, and if you want a stronger medium roast, now again, they call it a light roast, I'm gonna call it a medium roast. If you want a stronger medium roast with a good hazelnut flavor that doesn't require creamer, this is the way to go. Makes the house smell fantastic, by the way. And the Brilliant Blonde Blend for somebody who's into a fruity flavor, if you like fruit flavored teas and you wanna try some coffee that's got some personality to it, uh, this is definitely gonna be the way to go. So there you go. All right, so hi V. Um, again, I think you guys did a pretty good job testing out these three varieties, they're great. And uh, I'm going to go build a house now because I'm going to be so jacked up on caffeine, it isn't going to matter. So these are good. Check them out. If you ever go by a high bee store, you know, the Midwestern part of the, of the uh, country, stop in and pick some up. Um, otherwise, it's good stuff. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching today on Coffee, Computers, and More. We'll be bringing you more computer and technology reviews very soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. Mash that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.